Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss permethrin. What is this drug permethrin? Actually, this drug acts as pesticide or insecticide and this compound belongs to the chemical category of pyrethroids. These are a group of compounds among this permethrin is one of the insecticide which is used by topical root in order to treat the scabies which is caused by itching mites. So permethrin can control the scabies and itching caused by these mites by inhibiting their neuronal excitation thereby paralyzing the skeletal muscle. Similarly permethrin can also be used for the treatment of head lice where it can be applied by lotion to treat these head lice. For the treatment of head lice in the step 1 entire hair should be thoroughly washed and it should be dried. During this hair wash shampoo can be used but conditioner should not be used which reduce the effectiveness of permethrin. After thorough wash and drying of hair in the step 2 the permethrin lotion can be applied. Permethrin is also available as a cream but lotion is preferred for treatment of head lice. So this lotion should be thoroughly applied on the hair such that it is completely distributed on the entire scalp. At the same time this lotion should not be applied on the other parts of the body in order to eliminate the irritation produced by this drug. So after thorough distribution of this lotion throughout the scalp it should be left for 10 minutes and after that the permethrin can be thoroughly washed with warm water. So this removes the paralyzed head lice by washing with warm water but the eggs of the lice may still remain on the scalp as well as hair. So in the step 4 a head lice comb can be used to remove any remaining lice as well as nits that are attached with the hair as well as scalp. So with these 4 steps maximum number of head lice can be removed but the success of the treatment depends on the other factors. So what are the accessories going to be used during this application such as comb or any plastic appliances, towels, bed sheets all should be thoroughly washed with hot water in order to completely eliminate the paralyzed lice. And this permethrin lotion can also be applied after one week if any further symptoms of lice is present on the head. Similarly this can be used for the treatment of scabies where in the step one the entire body should be thoroughly washed and dried. So this drug can be applied on the skin in the form of cream which is available at 5% strength. Now the cream can be applied thoroughly on the entire skin from the head to toe such that it is uniformly distributed then it should be left for at least 8 to 14 hours. After that again it can be thoroughly washed and clean such that itching mites can be removed from the body. But when this product is going to be applied initially it can increase the symptoms of scabies resulting in the increased irritation and itching. So today in this video we are going to see how this drug acts, what and precautions, its chemical nature and what are the important side effects we will discuss in this video. Now let us the chemical nature of this drug. So this is the structure of permethrin. Here we can easily observe that it is an ester functionality attached with cyclopropane ring. So this is first carbon, second carbon and third carbon. Now simply it is having the 2,2-dimethyl cyclopropane which is forming an ester. So we can write the suffix as 2,2-dimethyl cyclopropane 1 carboxylate. And it is forming the ester with simple methyl group so we can write this methyl but this methyl is attached with two phenyl rings which are bridged with a oxy group. So this is nothing but 3-phenoxyphenyl. Now at the third position it is having the vinyl side chain which is also called as ethenyl which is further attached with the two chlorine groups at the terminal. This is nothing but 3-2,2-dichloroethenyl. So that is a complete name of permethrin. Now let us see how this drug acts. Permethrin mainly acts on the neuronal transmission within the mites. So this neuronal transmission which is going to be propagated through the neurons to the skeletal muscle which produce the motility of mites. And here this axonal connection is very important which is mediated by voltage gated sodium channels. So suppose this is the axon. Now when the impulse reaches to the axon from the cell body this impulse is propagated rapidly throughout the axon by voltage gated sodium channels. These voltage gated sodium channels play an important role in the axonal conduction as well as rapid conduction of the impulse. So sodium can enter through these sodium channels which produce rapid depolarization within the axon. 
Now, permethrin is one of the drug which can block this voltage gated sodium channels such that it can inhibit the axonal conduction. When this axonal conduction is inhibited, it can inhibit the neurotransmission leading to inhibition of muscle contraction. So, within the mites, skeletal muscle is paralyzed so that they cannot grip either hair or skin of the host. So after application of permethrin, these mites can be easily washed from the skin as well as hair. In this way, permethrin acts as insecticide by, by paralyzing the skeletal muscles of the mites. What are the important precautions? Just we have seen that permethrin can be given either by cream or lotion. So it is applied topically. So when it is going to be applied topically, it can produce some local reactions resulting in the hypersensitive reactions. So this drug can initially increase the symptoms such as erythema, can also increase the symptoms such as pruritus resulting in the increased itching. Even it can produce some edema. So all these symptoms are initially increased. That's why when this drug is used for the treatment of scabies, for first three weeks, the symptoms may be increased due to the local reactions produced by permethrin. Similarly, when this permethrin is accidentally applied onto the eye, so when this drug is applied on the eye, it can produce eye irritation. So that's why when this drug is used, avoid the contact with eye, mouth, nose and vagina, where it can produce the irritation and itching sensation. Similarly, this drug can produce some difficulty in breathing, which is more important in the patient with asthma. So this drug should be carefully used in the patient with asthma or any respiratory disorders. Similarly, this drug should be carefully given to the pregnant woman as well as breastfeeding woman where it may increase the toxic reactions. So caution should be taken when it is applied for pregnant women. Similarly, this drug is not indicated for the infants with age less than two months. It can be used in the children with age greater than two months, but less than two months, it should not be used. What are the side effects? Just we have seen that permethrin produce local side effects. It can produce some pruritus, local irritation, erythema, skin rashes, some numbness and tingling sensation can be produced by this permethrin. How it is given? As we have already discussed, this drug is available as lotion, particularly at the 1% solution and this lotion can be used for the treatment of lice. Similarly, it is also available as a cream at a strength of 5% and this cream is particularly used for the treatment of scabies. In this way, permethrin can be used for the treatment of lice as well as scabies but care should be taken to avoid severe hypersensitive reactions. So this drug should not be in contact with eye, mouth, nose and vagina. And initially this drug can increase itching sensation, edema, local irritation. But after a few weeks of the treatment, these symptoms can be reduced. So that's about this drug permethrin, which is topically used for the treatment of head lice management and scabies. So that's for today. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.